Hi everybody, it's Poya Del Mar in San Francisco. And sometimes a look is just so wild that you would like to allow it to speak for itself. You don't want your eyes to overpower it. You got a big glittered lip. You don't want your eyes to compete. So tonight, I decided to go with a nude eye. It's a naked eye using all neutral colors and it's a nice little cut crease. I'm gonna show you how I did it. We'll be right back with that during this video. Hey everybody, it's been a long time since I've done a YouTube makeup tutorial. So today I'm going to do a simple cut crease eye. I want it to translate on stage as being very natural. Um, a lot of my makeup, as you might know if you've watched previous tutorials, is very over the top, very colorful. My friends call me a tropical fish. I'm okay with that. But this is gonna be a nude eye. So I've pretty much done everything on my face except my eyes. I'm gonna start with a flat little brush like this. My TV pan stick from Krylon. It's my highlight foundation color. I'm gonna use this flat brush and the foundation and I'm going to outline where I want this eye to be. I'm applying this generously to my eye foundation and then in a minute I'm gonna take a sponge and I'm gonna smooth it out. This is just a simple makeup sponge. I'm gonna pat it and even it out. I still need to cover the lid. I'm gonna cover the lid with this too. Covering the entire eye with this foundation color. I'm gonna use a cheap little flat makeup brush like this. It's an eyeshadow brush. This is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I've been made fun of a lot by people on YouTube for using cheap brushes. But my strong suggestion, that aside, is that anyone who's just learning makeup uses inexpensive brushes because you will ruin them by accident just trying to learn. Called Fennel from Krylon. It's an eyeshadow color. It's basically white. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill in the cut crease area. So I'm gonna make a semicircle right here on my eye. For me, because I raise my eyebrow, I'm gonna use my own brow bone as like the deciding area. I'm not gonna pull it all the way down to my lid line because I don't want to have to struggle with this when I am putting in my, my eyeliner. Now that I've got that lid done, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna come right under, or the, ultimately will be my eyebrow up here. I'm filling in right at the peak of the arch. And I'm bringing it down to where my brow bone is because that's where I'll end up blending it out. This isn't really part of the eye I'm about to show you, but I also take a white and I go from the side of my eye up here. Up, because I, I like that highlight to really pop. Looks extra white right now, but I'm gonna, you know, it all gets blended out. Just to make sure it blends nicely, I'm gonna use that same sponge that I did it and I'm just gonna pat along it. That's gonna blend it a little bit. Blended. I'm gonna use that same brush that I do use the, for the white, this little flat brush here. This is called Day Rise. It's from Krylon. When you look at it, you're probably thinking, that's white, but it's actually a very, very pale pink. I just wanna give it a little bit of color. Now I'm using this brush to pat the two together so that the Day Rise actually will blend in with the white or the fennel. When you're looking at it, you may not see this, but when I'm looking at it, I see it go from white to pale pink. You can tell I've used this quite a lot. This is color RB72 from Krylon. That's gonna become the next color in this. I'm just using the same brush because I'm actually blending these colors together as I'm going. And I'm gonna pull this all the way down to the beginning of my brow. This is just a cream color. I want this eye to be very minimal Obviously, you're seeing that it's being very minimal because there's almost no color in it. Now I'm switching brushes. This is MAC brush 263. Very small angled brush. A Krylon color SE2. It's a dark brown. It's what I use for contour. And I'm gonna come in here with the little angle brush, load it up with the color, and then I'm very carefully gonna trace the edge of the white semicircle, the cut crease, and start building up the color. 
What's gonna help make this look so nude is I'm using the same color in all of my contours, so it'll just blend sort of right into my face. Personally, I try not to drag the brush along my eye because of the fact that if you drag the brush, it can pull up some of the glue that you've used for your eyebrow coverage. So I'm just gently sort of touching it. You okay. can see that I've made the, the I've cut the crease. Now I'm gonna um, turn it upward like this, and I'm gonna start blending it upward with the same brush. This is a big fluffy brush like this, and just tapping along the edge of it. I'm not able to get it smoothed out right there, so I'm using a sponge. This is a sponge I've used to put on my foundation. Just tapping along it to help smooth out that color. Much better. Okay, looks pretty rough. So I'm gonna come back in with that little brush that I was putting on all the highlights with. I put it back in that cream color, and I'm just gonna tap along the edge of it. This is a process where you have to do a little one, and then I'm gonna go back in with the brown, the, the brush that's got the brown on it, and just tap into it. Now I'm pretty happy with the blending. This is my favorite new product that I've discovered since my last makeup tutorial. This is from Inglot. It's number 77. This is an eyeliner pot. It goes on very black. Um, after a while, it may dry out a little bit, so I'm using just a little bit of MAC Prep and Prime. Just a little spritz in there. Helps it, boop. Loosens it right back up. Using this angle brush, using the, with the angle down, I'm gonna start at the inside of my eye and I'm gonna draw it at an at a tri like kind of a triangle because I don't want it to come flat across because I want to be able to adhere my lash upward. So I'm gonna draw it up until to like probably, can you see how high up that is? That's how high I'm gonna make it. Cause I want to be able to like make it at a sort of a triangle in my eye. Honey, when I tell you that this dries black and stays, I mean it. Bringing it all the way to my lash line. Little cat eye action. I'm also gonna do it underneath my eye. I connect at the side, because I want it to look really dark there. For those of you at home, you may want to go the whole water, you know, the water line. You, maybe that's what you like. I go half the water line, and then I tilt down because I want to open up my eyes. Okay. And I am going to, right at the edge here, I'm gonna pull this black up along the side of the crease and I'm gonna pull it over. Now coming back underneath it, I'm gonna use that same little brush because I'm also using, I'm gonna use more white. I'm going under the water line out next to this black. Lean off your angled brush again from MAC because we're gonna use it again. That's my favorite brush, queens. All right, I'm about to make my brow. I use a cream. This cream is from uh, Krylon. It's one of the contour colors I use. It's called DP. And to make my this particular brow that I always like to make, I come along the, I trace along the top of this. One solid line. 
upward swoops. Then I use that same brown color that we used before, SE2. I'm gonna load that into the brush. Come in and kind of set these. Using the angle brush, hitting on my foundation. I like this because from a distance, it looks like an actual eyebrow. When I've got the other eye finished, we're gonna come back, I'll put the lashes on, and we'll be done, really. I'm back. And everything is done except my lashes. And if you wanna see how I make these lashes, which are pretty extravagant, um, I'm gonna encourage you to go to my lash video, but you'll see that these lashes are rather sizable. I don't use lash glue, I use weave on glue. Put the weave on glue on and let it sit for a hot second, baby. The reason I do my lash at an angle like that is because I'm gonna adhere it on the inside, close down here, and then I'm gonna lift it up up here so that it always stays at an arch. I'm gonna add a little dab of the weave bond glue on that black line that I created to lift the lash onto it. I'm using the angled brush to press my lash against the false lash. Again, use this little angle brush to press my lashes up against. Remember, it's got also got that black pot in there, so it's like blacking my lash. These eyes are pulled so tight, I feel like Terry Hatcher. No offense, Terry Hatcher, if you're watching. I like my eyes to look really, really huge and really the rims around them to look really, really dark. So I'm gonna use a very large lash. I'm using what many people would use as a top lash on my bottom, which is a 199. If, in case you're wondering, the top lashes that I'm using are two 301s and a 199. As I said, there's a video online that shows you exactly how I make them. The eyes are a nice, subtle color, um, all naturals, all, uh, all kind of neutral colors. It allows my mouth to sort of take precedence because I always wear a glittered lip. I'm gonna dust off any excess powder. I'm gonna throw hair on, I'll be good to go, boo. And if you like this, please leave a thumbs up. If you don't like it, um, don't do anything at all, okay? Because I'm really not feeling the hate. And here's the finished look. Oh, let me try to get this. Ooh. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining me for another one of my makeup tutorials. I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my social media. All that information is coming up right now.